Okay guys, so we have a, a mouse from GX Gaming. It's a gaming mouse called uh, Gila or Jilla. Well, I have been playing with this mouse for over a year and I must say after some getting used to the mouse, I, I grew quite fond of it. As you can see, it comes in a big, thick package, right? So there's the package, it features all the beautiful lights and stuff around. It needs, uh, well, in, in short, the technical specification. It has a lot of resolution, it's fast, it has plenty of macros, it has plenty of keys, it has some onboard memory, it has blah blah blah, it has many many things. Well, basically, what I wanted with when I bought this mouse was I really I wanted a decent proper mouse that was uh, suitable for gaming. When you open it, there's a, like a big menu what it can do, but the packaging itself consists of uh, this mouse, some some CD-ROM, basic manual, basic interface. It features, and that is interesting, it features additional foot pad set. You know, so once you scratch the or, or, or lose the original foot pads, you can you can change it and it's it gets smooth again on the surface. Um, it comes uh, with a plastic box full of weights. Yeah, that's it. Um, this mouse features uh, adjustable weights. You can see there are these small pucks. You know, each has uh, 4.5 grams, and you can you can either add them or remove them, and uh, the mouse or remove it completely, and the mouse gets either more or less heavy. At first, I was playing with uh, without the uh, without the weights. Over the time, I I found out that um, I rather like the feel. Uh, of the of the heavy mouse, yeah. So, in here you can see in detail how the mouse looks. Well, it features this very long 1.8 1.8 meter uh, golden plated, uh, really rugged and very very nice uh, cord. It's of course wired mouse because well I wouldn't want any stupid Bluetooth not wired mouse. It features uh, ambidextrous, <laughs> ambidextrous um, controls, right? It has this classical wheel, change of speed. It even tells you like what speed level are you at. It has four special uh, keys and some other two. Also you have six special keys all together. 7, 8, right? Well, I, would, I was a bit harsh. Well, you can use it ambidextrously, but uh, of course there are some some minuses with that. Well, uh, for me the feel, the whole feel of the mouse, the mouse is really rugged and heavy and, and that's a good thing, right? You, you, want the me, you, you want the mouse to feel like decent and properly. Um, uh, some time I was struggling with the with this feature. Once you once you place your fingers over the mouse, since my my fingers are pretty bad, you feel the the, the edge. You know there's like a um, there's like an edge, and, and it, it 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 isn't smooth, right? So like at first I was struggling with with the other fingers, these fingers, where to put them. But uh, other than that and um, over a few weeks, I got completely used to the fact. So, from from that moment, this mouse uh, completely got me. Uh, if you plug it in, it has plenty of colors. It has a lot of colors, and it can be all customized and uh, and set up. And it has macros, which I didn't really know how they work, but it has macros. Yeah, that's it.